facilitator for EDT A30 titled Multimedia Technology in Teaching and Learning. This is the first class and together we are going to examine the basic concepts in multimedia. Thereafter we are going to discuss the importance of multimedia system, especially within teaching learning process. Even though you are learning at a distance, I can assure you that this video will equip you with the basic knowledge on multimedia before our online class which comes up shortly. Welcome to EDT 830 class and today we are going to examine the basic concepts in multimedia. This is quite important because multimedia resources are strategic components of teaching learning process. Whether you are talking about face-to-face -face classroom instruction or open and distance learning. And by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to explain the concept of multimedia, highlight concepts that are related to multimedia, describe the different components of multimedia, and lastly discuss the importance of multimedia in teaching learning process. Now before we go further, let me ask you a question. Have you ever imagined the teaching learning process without multimedia? While you are pondering on that, let us continue with our discussion. The diverse learning needs of the students in the classroom, especially in this digital age, necessitate the need to integrate media in teaching learning process. Because your students are coming from different backgrounds, they have different learning styles. Some prefer to learn by text, some prefer to learn by audio, and some just prefer to see the, uh, the pictures. So they have different learning styles. And these diverse learning styles necessitate the needs to integrate media in the teaching learning process. Thus, we need to utilize media to engage these students and be able to uh, deliver our content more effectively and appropriately to our students. Now, generally, media are resources that can be used to convey information to the audience. So we can define multimedia as the integration of different media components, like text, audio, video, graphics, and simulation, and so on, to communicate with the students. Now take note of all these words that I've highlighted here. The text, the audio, video, graphics, these are what we call the elements of multimedia. They are multimedia elements. And they are elements that should be present in your instructional content to engage your learners, different categories of your learners in the instructional process. In the ODL setting, for instance, it is the responsibility of the tutor to use multimedia to engage learners in the instructional activities. And that is what I'm doing here. You know, you are learning at a distance. You might not see me now, but you will see this package. You will see this video and you will watch the video and learn. So whether you are in ODL setting or you are in face-to-face -face classroom instruction, you need to know about these multimedia resources and be able to use these resources effectively to engage your students in the classroom. Now let's quickly look at the concept related to multimedia. And when you are talking about multimedia, you need to talk about some concepts that are closely related to multimedia. We should talk about technology, we talk about teaching, we talk about learning. So let's consider all this uh, one after the other. Now let's quickly consider technology. Technically, technology refers to all tools procedures, and platforms that human beings use to control and develop the environment. Now, they are not, technology is not um, only the devices that you see, okay, like computers, like mobile phones, and some other things like that. It might be procedure, it might be platform. For instance, your virtual learning environment. And in the education setting, technology involves tools, platforms, and procedures that are used to facilitate teaching learning process. That is important. The main aim of using technology in the instructional process, and by extension, the main aim of using media in the instructional process is to facilitate teaching learning process. So any media you are using, or any technology you are using in the classroom that does not facilitate instructional process is not appropriate for the uh, teaching learning process. So you need to use media or technology that will facilitate teaching learning process. Now let's continue with the concept. Let's look at the teaching now, for instance. Teaching has to do with the use of teaching and learning resources to impart knowledge and skills to the students. And that is the essence. The essence of using multimedia, as I mentioned earlier, in 
classroom instruction is to facilitate teaching learning. This is the main function of a teacher in ODL. I mean, in open and distance learning. It involves the development of learning resources like instructional videos. This is an instructional video I'm making for you now to learn specific concepts in this course. It involves coming up with course material and also online facilitation. All these are technology that we can use in ODA and they can also be used in face-to-face -face classroom instruction as well. Now let's look at the third uh, concept related to multimedia and that is learning. Now the process of acquiring knowledge and skills that could lead to a permanent change in behavior is what we call learning. Look at these words now, for instance. Your definition should include this permanent change in behavior. Anything you are doing in instructional activity, in instructional environment that does not promote permanent change in behavior cannot be regarded as learning. So when you are picking your multimedia or when you are using multimedia resources, these resources should be aimed at ensuring that there is a permanent change in behavior of learners as you use these resources for teaching learning process. Because learners have different learning styles. Some prefer to learn by audio, some prefer to learn by text, some just prefer to see the pictures and they will learn better. So it is important to understand these learning styles so as to develop appropriate content for your students in the classroom. So these three related concepts to multimedia are important and you need to understand them if you are coming up with your content and this will help you as a teacher to do what is required in the production and utilization of multimedia and in the next slide i will give you a class activity uh, try to attend the class activity before we continue i hope you have attempted that class activity so let us continue the multimedia element is the next uh, concept we are going to examine now. I mentioned earlier that this text, audio, graphic, video information, and some other elements are what we call the multimedia elements. And all these should be present in the instructional content you are coming up with. So the audio, the graphic, the video, animation, text, simulation, and some other uh, elements are what we call the elements of multimedia. And these are all the things you need to put in place and ensure that they are all present in your instructional content as you are coming up with your content for students. This will help you to engage different categories of learners in your classroom. Now let's explain this, let's examine this in detail. Now, the print-based, which is the text-based material, they include um, the text materials like self-instructional materials, textbooks, and so on. Now, for instance, the course material for this course, EDT 830, I believe all of you have um, the course material. It's an example of print-based ODL material. But we cannot base, we cannot rely solely on this text-based material, okay? Because many of you will agree with me that when you see materials that are uh, only text-based, no pictures, no links, or no other media there. You are, you are not interested to read all these materials, okay? The materials will look boring to you. But when you see material that are integrated with pictures, with videos, and some other things, it makes learning interesting. It stimulates you to want to learn more and motivates you to put uh, attention to the details of the instructional content. Now, let's lastly, uh, look at the importance of multimedia system. This is quite important. The first thing is that using a combination of multimedia elements will engage learners more than text-based material. As I just mentioned now, when you integrate different elements like videos, like pictures, like um, the audio component into the text, okay, it will engage students more than using only text-based material. Another importance is that the teacher or the tutor is able to cater for the diverse learning needs of the learners. As I mentioned earlier on, if you use multimedia resources, okay, you are able to cater for different learning styles of your learners. For instance, the audio components can cater well for students with 
visual needs or visual impairment, for instance. Okay, and in your classroom, you don't have power over who comes to your classroom as a student. You just enter your classroom, you meet your student there, and you have the responsibility to take care of all of them, whether they are visually impaired, whether they have hearing impairments, or any other deformity. You need to take care of them. And the only way you can take care of them is to use these multimedia resources. Multimedia resources make learning more realistic. When students see videos, when they see animation, when they look at pictures, they see graphics, it makes learning more real to them. Okay? It will reduce the level of abstractness associated with uh, some concepts. Also, the multimedia resources stimulate learners' interest. They will want to learn more when they have all these graphic designs, when they have pictures, when they have audio, when they have videos. And lastly, multimedia resources improve learning outcome. And if you are able to use all these elements to engage your learners, you will be able to cater for their learning needs. So as you are coming up with your content, I expect you to use all these resources and ensure that you cater for the learning needs of all categories of learners in your classroom. Thank you for watching. See you in the class.